Navagraha are the nine heavenly bodies and deities that influence the human life on earth according to Hinduism and Hindu astrology. This video will narrate to you the various aspects and stories associated with the 8th and the 9th of the Navagraha, Rahu and Ketu. To know more about the other planets of Navagraha, watch the playlist linked in the comments below. Rahu and Ketu, unlike other Navagraha members, do not rule upon a physical planet. They are called Chaya Graha, which means shadow planets, and are hence responsible for eclipses of the sun and the moon. The two shadow planets were once a single entity. Swarbhanu and Asura, who aspired to become invincible, disguised himself as a Deva to consume the nectar of immortality during Samudra Manthan. Surya and Chandra, due to their celestial light, were able to identify the imposter among them and informed Mohini, the female form of Lord Vishnu. Rahu is responsible for the eclipse of the sun, which was once interrupted by a young Hanuman, who wanted to consume the sun, thinking the bright flaming star was a giant fruit. This Navagraha is depicted without a body, mounted on his Vahana, a black lion. Since the deity lacks a body, people believe that the influence of this deity causes undue harm. People donate mustard, saffron, sesame seeds, lead and coal to appease Rahu. Ketu is the headless body of the Asura Swarbhanu and it represents the southern lunar node. Ketu is responsible for the eclipse of the moon, where the deity is said to completely swallow the lunar celestial body. The Navagraha is depicted without a head, with four arms and a serpent tail instead of legs, mounted on his Vahana, a vulture. His name Ketu means a comet and his serpent tail is a symbolic representation of a comet's tail. People believe that Ketu represents amorality, violence, detachment, confusion, mindlessness and impulsivity. To avoid the ill effects of the celestial god, People donate saffron, sesame, lead and sugar and offer food to a black and white colored dog. Since the incident of being beheaded by Mohini, Rahu and Ketu constantly chase the sun and the moon for revenge as they are the cause of separating the head and the body of Asura Swarbhanu. It is a popular belief that when they succeed in catching the sun and moon, they swallow them, causing solar and lunar eclipse but they can't hold on to them for long because sun and moon emerge again intact as they also had the nectar of immortality. Scientifically, Rahu and Ketu denote the two points of intersection of the paths of the sun and the moon as they move around the celestial sphere. Therefore, Rahu and Ketu are respectively called the north and the south lunar nodes. Sometimes, when the moon passes these nodes, it is aligned perfectly between the earth and the sun to create eclipses.